All right, let's uh, let's talk about flak and how flak works. Flak is honestly just a lot like lasers. If you think of flak as as just another laser, that's probably the best way to think of flak. It works very similarly. You're shooting projectiles that'll take down shields, so on and so forth. Uh, differences are the flak fires all at once, so they can take down multiple shields all at the same time, which can make it a little easier to aim beam weapons, things like that. Um, and the shots also scatter. So notice when I'm aiming my flak weapon here, there's a big red radius around where I'm aiming it. Now that's the area that the flak shots will be able to land in. So when we shoot the flak, the projectiles could land anywhere within that radius. Uh, that includes off of the ship here. Um, one other special consideration for flak is that unlike lasers, flak can be shot down by regular defense drones, which lasers cannot. So, flak is slow-moving projectiles that can be shot down by defense drones, but otherwise mostly works the same way as lasers do. So, um, because of how flak aims, so we'll, uh, we'll show it off here. Shoot with the flak one. Now you see these three red flashing dots here, that's where the three projectiles are randomly landing. Like I said, it could have been anywhere within that, uh, that circle. When you're shooting a big room like this, these two by two rooms, it'll usually land everything within that room you'll be good to go. Just plop plop like that. Good to go. Um, however, if you're shooting at like one of these rooms up here, notice that uh, about half of my shot is outside of the ship. Anything that I hit outside of that uh, is targeting outside of the ship will just miss. So like this projectile right here, that one, if the shields are down, it's just going to miss the ship entirely, no matter what. So uh, that, is, that is why and how flak is a little less accurate than laser weapons. So you see, that shot just missed entirely. The other two shots did hit, though. Now, um, there's also differences between the different types of flak. Uh, they have different amounts of accuracy. So if you look at uh, flak 1 versus advanced flak, it's very similar. Advanced flak, very slightly more accurate. You can see the, uh, the size of the red circle shrinking ever so slightly when I switch to the advanced flak. Uh, flak 2, however, much bigger circle. Flak 2 is very inaccurate. So if you're trying to just take down specific systems, it uh, is going to be less reliable than something like lasers will be, clearly. So even though Flak 2 shoots 7 projectiles, which is a huge number of projectiles, um, usually only like four or five are actually gonna hit where you're aiming because other shots are gonna miss. Even more so if you want to shoot something like this where more than half of the shots are just gonna straight up miss. Um, and uh, to clarify, that is once they're past the shield. So even if a projectile is going to land outside the ship, if it hits the shields first, then it's, it's cool, it'll just knock down the shields instead, but once it's past the shields, it's going to uh, miss. One other special um, attribute of uh, flak weapons is that they shoot some fake projectiles with them. Uh, so the, uh, the flak one here shoots three real projectiles, but it also shoots three fake projectiles. So you see, these are the three real projectiles that are going to hit and actually cause damage. The uh, three fake projectiles are purely cosmetic. You'll see that, um, we like right here, there was an extra thing that hit the ship right here, but that doesn't do any damage to it. It doesn't take down shields, it doesn't do anything like that. But uh, if you've ever seen like Flag get like a ton of miss, um, miss pop-ups, like it says it misses like five times but still does damage, that's why. It's those fake projectiles that are missing. They're, they're just to kind of make it look more more scattery. Is it's basically the idea. It's just purely cosmetic. So, Flak Two is definitely a very strong weapon, but um, it's it's primarily a shield buster. It's great at just knocking down the shields, but not as great at uh, doing damage to systems because of how inaccurate it is. Whereas like Flak One's kind of in between. It's a great shield buster but it can often do system damage because it's a little more accurate. Flak 2 can do system damage too if you need it to, but not as reliable. And uh, so it's important to kind of balance hitting important systems versus doing damage with Flak. Uh, so for example, with the Flak 1, the best place on the ship to shoot would be right here. That's going to be the most, most reliable damage. But if you really need to take down weapons more, it's not that much uh, less damage to shoot here and you're focusing more on weapons. 
So you kind of got to adjust to the uh, situation there as appropriate. Uh, now, swarm missiles. Swarm missiles also work in the same way, but they're they're not a big as big of a radius. So swarm missiles also target just like flak. They can shoot outside the ship. So you see like that. It looks like all three landed within the radius here. So they will all hit, but uh, swarm basically works like flak targeting where it can uh, miss entirely if it goes outside the ship. Like this one right here, just straight up misses. Even if they had no evasion, that shot would miss because it's outside the ship. Hopefully that uh, helps you understand how flak works.